so they are easier to deal with, but also more dangerous. begins again. Now some guy's on the right, Wim is on the left, because Wim is now hosting. I guess using the single pickup on Isami's gems to make sure that you only throw down one instead of throwing the entire stack down. Um, if you are careful, you can throw the entire stack down and then pick the remainder back up to throw them back down. Um, that is, one way or the other, it is kind of buying time. Um, also, if you throw down a single fist... Ah, if you throw down a single fist on the top, it will actually chain react to all the fists underneath. And that is the win for Wim. Which I intentionally wanted that to happen. Though maybe it would be more... Maybe Isami wouldn't be quite as... I feel like Isami is somewhat underpowered. We haven't seen Isami at all this entire... Uh, this entire contest. Or at least in the finals. And I wonder if that's because if you pick up a single Isami gem and throw it on top of another one, then effectively only the bottom one works. I wonder if I could change that so if you throw one on top of a stack, only the bottom one triggers. I have no idea how I would do that. Alright, round one to win. Uh, Rhina has also not shown up yet. We have seen Tofu, Naka, we've seen Isami now. Um, Karen... Meat Bun, we have not seen Rhino, Morgana, Isami, and Ogre. So Rhino's gem is the roulette gem. Um, a little bit of randomness added oh, no, to the match. Oh, $20 from Platinum Venus, thank you! It says, Happy Friday. Um, a little bit of randomness. They function very similarly to Meat Bun's gems. And kind of internally, I think of the two as being a pair of sorts. When one of Rhina's gems lands, you cannot move it or speed it up in any way. You simply have to wait out the timer. Um, each one of the gems will spin for a random amount of time, and when the time goes up, wherever the arrow is pointing, it will create a chain width. Which means if it ends pointing at a string of six blocks all the same color, it will destroy all six of them, giving all of those points back to Ryan. They can be difficult to deal with, and there's not a lot you can do about them. You can easily minimize their damage, though. And that is another win for Wim. Again, a close match. 15 point difference. So Wim is now two up. This is some guy's last chance. Of course, it's still not over. And these have been very close matches. Oh, 
All right, all down, at least so far, to this. This may not be the very end, but if some guy takes one loss, that is the end of the entire tournament. So, Ogre against Yuki. So, as I mentioned before, um, with Yuki, that is actually... Yuki forces your opponent to play high. And becomes more dangerous the longer the match goes on. And some guy is actually quite good at playing high. And these being both relatively high-level players, I don't imagine a short match. So this is going to be interesting in that I feel like some guy will have a pretty easy time dealing with Yuki. And then we have Ogre, who we've seen before. And is one of the trickier ones to one of the trickier gems to deal with. So some guy taking an early but not dramatic lead. Wim coming back. Oh, you know, I think I changed the Yuki gems so they actually work. They actually appear higher up more often, so you're not just play high and avoid everything. Some guy took an early lead. Wim came back and is still ahead, but not by much. Oh, the Yuki gems are piling up, though. It's getting very difficult for some guy to make matches that will actually give him points. And that is the win for Wim. I suppose also with the high level, with higher level play, that means a lot more garbage was sent to the opponent very quickly. Which filled up some guy's side very fast. And then with the, cha with the changes then, you couldn't just play high to avoid Yuki. But that is the win! In the Grand Finals, we have a winner. That is Wim Widget taking out some guy for the win of the Tofu Topple Tournament. All very good matches. All very good matches. Even in the matches, even in the matches where someone would go 3-0, Every fight was a fight. Every one of them was... Every one of them was close. And I... I... I think it is... I think it's very admirable how everyone played tonight. So pat all your... All of you pat yourselves on the back. You all did an amazing job. And thank you, thank you very much um, to you four specifically for all coming together for this so we could actually have this grand final here for everyone to see. Um, and a very special thanks to everyone that participated in this tournament. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch many of the actual matches leading up to this. Um, but every one of you contributed to this tournament. 
and made this something to remember. Thank you all very much.